but the thought on what could be happening on the floor above terrifies me. Picture hundreds of angry animals finally escaping, with only one thing capable of giving them peace, and that's to get you and your friends. They're captors. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. We're in big trouble, partner. We can't stay here long. Unless you want to be swallowed whole with sharp teeth making you easier to digest. Get out of here, partner. Follow me. I know what it is. It ain't the prettiest, but it should be unoccupied at least. Come on! We can't stay in the dark! Let's head to that lot over there! Phew! We should be safe for now. Do I not miss this place? This is where I took refuge after being dumped down here by your kind. Many cold and lonely nights have been spent here. Ones that I wish to forget. I was found by the Queen at Bittergiggle and a couple of others, and it was foolish enough to let myself believe that things could get better. But here I am, back to square one. Like I told you earlier, we need to get the Queen's Scepter as soon as possible. It's the one thing that can allow us to recontain the Naughty Ones and seal the door behind them. We had it stored in this room away from anyone that could get to it, hoping we would never have to use it again. But here we are. The door opens by activating four switches scattered across the different sectors on this floor. The Naughty Ones despise the light. You should be safe from them as long as you stay in lit spaces. The first thing we should do is find a way to safely get to the other sectors. Let's have a look around. up there. Hey, partner. 
You happen to know anything about someone who tricks others and imprisons them? This dame claims someone kidnapped and imprisoned her for some time, but she managed to escape. I didn't get a good look at them. I have a feeling the culprit is incredibly clever and good at what he does, and that he's very handsome. I didn't say that. My gut feeling's never wrong, and something tells me he is very handsome. But you came to the right place, miss. It should be safe here for now. My students are my responsibility. I can't teach them without a full attendance list. The principal would be very mad if I did. We ought to find the culprit. But let's make sure we're alive to do so first. How about you head over to the introduction sector and look for the first switch? I'll have Stinger Flynn transported here. Mrs. Mason, you seem to have been through a lot, and we need everyone to stay focused. I think you should rest for now. May we get through this alive. Are they gone? Don't worry, I... I'm not going to hurt you. I've done enough damage as it is. I know it doesn't make up for what I've done and trying to take you down, but I'm sorry. I truly am. I don't know what came over me, I just... I couldn't hold myself back. I knew the consequences well. And I still went ahead and said that stupid joke. And now the queen's probably dead because of me. I wouldn't blame you if you don't forgive me. But I will be very thankful if you do. <laughs> Just... Know that I'll do my best to make up for what I did. You're here for the switch, for the room where the scepter is, right? It's in here, but it's inside of that locker. I can't figure out what to do.
Whatever you plan to do with the lights this dim, do it quickly! The naughty ones know no mercy! Man, do I feel much safer with the lights on. What are all of these colorful lights for? What are all of these colorful lights for?
Louie, you gotta hide! Get in here! We gotta wait till whatever video is playing outside ends. Don't say a word. Hello? Anybody in there? It's your friend, Bamban. I need your help. He's out already? Don't even think about opening this door! Up! Open up! The lights are turning back on. I think the video is ending. It's worse than I thought. And it's all because of me. We should go back to wherever you came from. On the way back, I'll think of some jokes that might distract the sheriff from obliterating me on sight. You have a lot of guts showing up here, Bitter Giggle. I should take you out where you stand. Did you really think that I'd allow you in here? And look who it is. My partner in fighting crime turns out to be working with our most wanted criminal behind my back. I had a bad feeling about you the moment I saw you. I wanted to use you as bait for the other criminals. But the Queen insisted we give you a chance. Should have gone with my instincts. As usual. I was right. You two should go. Your fate in here won't be much better than your fate out there with the naughty ones. I don't need no partners. I'll find Little Beak, and together, we'll rid the world of monsters like you. No! I'll save you! Let's get out of here! They're safe for now, so there's that. Oh, it's you two. The duo of destruction. Didn't you cause all of this to happen? I did. And I plan to make up for it. Everyone that you care to see you redeem yourself is probably already gone. So what's the point? How do you even talk? Jellyfish have no brain. We should go turn on the other switches of the door. Let's head to the Potentiality Sector next.
Come on, man. We have to get back together. <laughs> Not a chance. Your jokes are trash. You'll have one leg. Everybody will think you're the joke when you're hopping around like a bunny. We must get back together to prevent that. Oh, you make a good point. Let me think about it for a second. Never! I will find it! The perfect joke! I might have lost a leg, but it will all be worth it in the end. I just have to make sure I don't lose the other one! <laughs> but I must remember, absolutely no more jokes about being trapped in a kangaroo's pouch! <laughs> Glad to know you survived the madness happening outside. I've seen cases escape containment before, but nothing this crazy. You're not much of a talker, so I'm going to assume you're here for an important reason. You wouldn't risk your life to be here otherwise. Whatever it is, I'll come with you. This one needs opening as well. Look at this place. It seems really familiar, but I'm not sure where I could have ever seen something like this.
Watch out! What is that doing in here? Hey, is that guy over there a friend of yours? You can tell him to get down now. It's not like we're gonna eat his pancreas. So, you are my liberator. Did you get my warning? You had your chance to escape my mayhem. Hold up, let's stay together. My head hurts. Did you see where Sir Dadadu went after our skirmish? Wait, I know this place. The switch should be on the office above, but getting in there won't be easy. We would have to activate the four locks of the door from down here, but they need fixing first, and they need power. I can fix them if there's power, but I remember the sheriff rigging the power switch so that it would alert the entire facility to our location if activated. It would trigger an alarm, which is sure to attract some unwanted guests. If you could cover me from above while I fix these switches down here, we might just be able to get into that office. I'm ready when you are. Charged after each use. Here they come.
bitch and let's head back! I don't want to spend another minute in this place! On. We need to talk. We've been making great progress so far, and it's really getting my spirits up. I'm in the mood to tell a joke. Ready? What do you call a toad that's upset? Unhoppy! <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? They... laughed. Last time I told a joke, all I heard was yelling. All we need is one more switch and we're good to grab the scepter. I guess you could say our day won't be set terrible for much longer. <laughs> Anything happen while we were away? Nothing. It's strange. I agree. Sir Dadadu is up to no good. Nabnab showed up, although I'm not sure if anyone would be happy to hear this. He tried some of his usual shenanigans, so I put him in a cage. Also, your big cat friend just walked in here like he knew the place. I didn't dare get close to it. Really? Well, I need to go see her. She's one of the few that appreciate my jokes. Tinger Flynn wanted a word. It feels weird being on the same side again after all that's happened. I wanted to let you know that this is all happening because of you. Never convince yourself otherwise. If you hadn't intervened with my plan or the Queen's, you'd be home on your warm bed. I would be free of my shackles, and everyone you hurt would not have been hurt. And ask yourself this. 
I wasn't hooked up to pipes that drained me of my Jaivani and shrunk my size. Could my original size have aided us in our predicament? Because of your foolish decisions, we are even less likely now to ever get back to the children. Regardless, there's another thing I want to show you. It sure looks like you need it. Morning, sleepy fellow. You should have kept sleeping. We're still waiting for the bus. Man, I'm so tired. Quit whining. You're not the only one. Maybe sleep for a bit like Opila. A bit? She's been sleeping for days. The bus is here. Finally. Ignore that. It's not the correct one. Aw oh, man. What are we even doing all of it? I don't want to go to the beach anymore. I just want to go back. We cannot. We must get to the beach. I will be frank. I did not know it would be this difficult to reach our destination. If it weren't for your infuriating actions, we would not be in this current predicament. Really, Stinger? My actions are your non-existent driving skill. I think Opila can drive better than you and she doesn't even have hands. You sure you want to do this again? Do what again? No need to get aggressive. Actually, I think now would be the time that we just go home. Do you have any idea how to get back from here? Well, no, but the captain and I could definitely figure it out. Right, captain? Captain? Another of us is here. No one wants to conversate with a being who is less useful than the seat they are sitting on. Get back here. This is the wrong bus too. The captain got kidnapped. What are we gonna do? I'm thinking. Nap, nap. We just lost two. This wasn't supposed to happen. We need to follow. Wait, is that the correct bus? the last switch activated. I found two of these key cards laying around. Ban Ben, I mean Uthman, took one and left one for you. He saw you taking a nap and decided to head there alone. You should be able to catch up with him. He gets really just erratic when I call him Ban Ban. Do you know why that is?
giant. Stop! Father told us not to talk to strangers. But we need help. Did you see our father around? He didn't come by today. He has more arms than you. More than us as well, obviously. If you see him, please tell him we need him to come back. Quick, stay in the middle where it can't reach you. I was about to set up a trap for that thing, but now we gotta get you out. Actually, we can do both. You're surrounded by an electricity trap. But they need a lot of power. Big batteries scattered in the tents in the corners. Have something do as much noise as possible, and then make a run for it while it is distracted. Lit tennis. Slightly.
It's activated and the large radius should be covered. Get the bird to dive one more time. If we get through this, we should hire you as a safety trainer. I don't know how long we'll be safe for, so let's get out of here. Stay where you are and I'll see what I can do about that big door. That is not something I want to experience again. I'll look for the switch where I am and you look where you are. Let me see if I can open that exit for you. Go ahead. Press the thing. Nothing bad will happen, I promise. See? I told you nothing bad would happen.
When I couldn't find the switch on my floor, I headed back. Figured I'd get lost trying to find you. But you did it! We can now put an end to this chaos. Hold on. First, I need to do something. I don't think he'll have naughty ones to worry about soon. Let's get this over with. Didn't think I'd be seeing this room again this soon. The surgeon is supposed to be in here protecting the scepter. Where'd he go? I doubt he was caught by the naughty ones. Everything would be in shambles if he was. Well, we can only look for him if we have the scepter. It seems eerily simple to just click the eject button. Are we sure we want to press it? No! Nab, nab! The scepter! It's missing a piece! That's not good! So, this is where the key to bind prison was stored away. Impressive work. All switches activated, the big door opened, and the treasure ready to be plundered. I fear that this is the part where I come in and dig all of your hard work for myself. I can sense I'm not the only one in this room that's good at this. Consider it a small part of the payback for what was done to me. Plus, I need to make sure history doesn't repeat itself. We had no choice! They were going to destroy us all! You did have a choice, and you chose wrong. Where are the Sheriff and the Surgeon? Surely me coming in here and taking the scepter wasn't part of your grand plan. I... I don't know where they are. I'll tell you, they are hiding like the cowards you all are. But I'll find them, and all will pay. Seems the scepter is incomplete too. Are you going to tell me where the missing piece is, or am I going to have to eat your pit kitty? You won't be doing any of that. Forget what happened between us before. You know you've always been my friend. But what are friends for if not for times like these?
I don't think I can go. What? What do you mean? You wouldn't understand. They appreciate my jokes. Who's they? This is my one chance to have an audience. And I am going to take it. Goodbye. <laughs> This is where they realized that everything they have worked so hard for was all for nothing. Both of you will be a fine addition to my army. Together, and under my command, we will finish what the Queen couldn't. I'll hold them off. Look for the surgeon.